Hey YouTube, it's me, Julian. Here's a 2017 Walmart exclusive Lamborghini set. Um, so I just go through them all in order, based on the card art. Or excuse me, yeah, the packaging. So check out the uh, packaging first with the card art. So there's Lamborghini, <laughs> Lamborghini, Lamborghini Countach, 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 I think. I almost forgot how to pronounce that one. Might have pronounced it wrong still. We got the Sesto Elemento, pretty cool. And also here's the back of the card if you want to see that. Just quickly. Alright. Next you got the Estoke. Could be pronouncing all these names wrong. If I am, just let me know. Here's the Aventador. Pretty cool in black. The packaging is pretty cool. It looks like a almost kind of like carbon fiber or some other material. Here's the Murcielago. Alright. Number five. Here's number six. The Reventin uh, Roadster. Alright. The Udus. Urus, however you want to say that. The SUV version. And then the Reventin. Alright, so there's all the packaging. Move that out of the way now. Uh, let's just focus on the cars. So the Countach is a very awesome one because it's all metal. It's a retro one. Basically one of the most iconic Lamborghinis of all time. Got the headlights in there. Pretty awesome. Very decent weight to it. I'd imagine it would be excellent on the track too. Space is metal. So that one's probably the most popular one out of the casting fight, I guess. Luckily I was able to find one. Very minimal, uh, graphics on it, which I like. Looks nice and clean. Next is the uh, Sesto Elemento, which I think is a very awesome car. Black and yellow. The yellow interior is kind of kind of weird to me, but the yellow accent does make sense. Yellow base on it. Everything else has a uh, plastic base metal body, by the way. But nonetheless, this one still looks pretty cool. Next, you got the uh, Stoke, which is a sedan, four-door uh, Lamborghini, which is pretty unique. Can't say I've ever seen this one in real life. Yep, pretty nice. Got details on the headlights. There, same with the SS Elemental, by the way. And this one was the Aventador, I think. Yep. There's the details on the headlights there. The rear. Anyways, I'm trying to go fast. I don't want to make my video too long here. Uh, which one was this one? The Mercy Lago. Excellent uh, headlight details on it. And also, this one has excellent taillight details, as you can see there. Very good. Yeah, that one looks very awesome. And again, these are all, uh, uh, I think they were 94 cents or something like that. It's a pretty good deal. Can't complain about that price point. Here's the Revent 10 Roadster. There's the base there. Looks pretty nice in silver. Again, all these uh, have like minimal graphics on it, so they're nice and clean. Headlight details on it. Here's the Udus, the SUV. Here's the base. Pretty nice in the uh, red metal flake paint job there. Again, you got the headlight details on it. We do this on the back where the license plate would go. And lastly, you got the uh, just the normal revent, and there's the base there. And then there's the headlights. Sorry, nothing much to say, but it's just in the obvious. But I just wanted to show it off for those who have not seen it yet. Nice uh, pearlescent. Like metal flake paint, change the colors and the light. But yeah, there you have it. So there they all are once again. So thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos and keep collecting.